All right, today's video is going to be very different, very raw. This is going to be more of like a vlog kind of style. It's funny, the first thing I imagined in my mind was like one of those TikTok videos of like, come prepare for this event with me. So today's video is going to be about deal with a bed bug infestation with me. I remember the first time I saw an adult bed bug in my loft. I just thought it was like a beetle of some sort and I crushed it and there was a lot of blood like red, like my blood. And I thought, hmm, that's weird. I think it was like on Sunday, I noticed that I had blood stains all over the bottom of my sheets. I slept down in this futon and I was Googling, what do bed bugs look like? What does a bed bug infestation look like? And it said that they leave excrement, which is like little black specks. Ah, <sighs> So my loft here is completely untreated pine wood. And in between the little gaps of the planks of wood, I'm noticing all these little black specks. I only needed to look at one with the flash on my camera. I took a photo inside the crack and I was like, oh God. So I called a few different exterminators today. And one of them basically offers like two treatments for $400 each. And then the other one does one treatment for $500. And I was asking her, don't you have to do a second treatment? Because the other people that I called told me their first treatment will only kill the adults. Those adults, if they laid any eggs, those eggs will hatch two weeks later and then you'll have to retreat the new adults. And she said, no, we use a uh, heat treatment, which will also kill the eggs. So it seems like it'll be more effective I've been doing so much research on bed bugs today. Honestly, it's disrupted my whole day. I'm super paranoid. I found one little, little tiny baby crawling on my legs today. And I was just like, Ugh. so I've already started the process of washing some of my sheets and pillowcases in the hottest water that my washer will do. What makes this kind of unique about dealing with an infestation in a tiny house is that a lot of their recommendations is to take everything out of your bedroom. Put them in the garage, some people say. I don't have a garage. My living room is directly under my bedroom. <laughs> so I guess I have to keep my clothing in the bathroom. I barely got any sleep last night. I'm too afraid to sleep up in my loft anymore. I'm just sleeping down on the futon. But that probably means I've now also transferred them all onto the futon. But the one thing that I will say 100% guys, if you're planning to have a untreated wood loft, and I asked my builder, I asked my dad, I asked my partner so many times, should I be sealing this? Should I be putting like a clear like shellac on it? Should I be priming and painting it? I like the look of it, but from talking to one of the exterminators and my mattress is just directly on it. There is, I don't have room for a box spring. I don't have room for anything really in between the mattress and the wood. And he's like, oh, that is the perfect environment for bed bugs to thrive in. And I will refrain from actually using any gross clips or photos. You don't want to see that. I don't want to look at it any longer than I'm already looking at it. And then one other thing I'm going to say quickly is there's a lot of stigma around bed bug infestations. A lot of people assume that you're a messy, dirty person if you have bed bugs. Bed bugs can get anywhere. They can live anywhere as long as they have a, a nice, tasty host to feed off of. And that's the other thing too, like bed bugs, like you're making an awful choice. Okay, I'm diabetic. I have mycocytic anemia. I have iron deficiency anemia. Like my blood is garbage. You really don't want my blood. <laughs> All right, so today is day two. Hopefully it's gonna be a pretty short nightmare. <laughs> I was able to schedule a visit with the exterminator tomorrow. So that's amazing. All right, back inside the house. Gonna be sleeping on this guy tonight. Already though, I saw a few little dead nymphs, little babies coming out of my laptop. Um, I did ask the exterminator if there's any like safe way to treat the laptop. And he said the only thing he could think of is buying a can of compressed air and spraying it outside. 
So that's what I just did. He started by steaming everything that's in <laughs> bags. We put like all of the pillows that I did not throw out in bags. So what he did first was spray chemicals at the bottom of the loft that would kind of push them upwards because he's like, I don't want them to all just like, you know, migrate down to the futon. So he sprayed chemicals in the bottom first and then he climbed up in there and he's like, oh yeah, I can see them all trying to get out. So uh, he steamed them, which I think would kill them all instantly, but then he sprayed chemicals again after just in case. He sprayed all my baseboards with some sort of chemical too. Then he steamed my car, sprayed my car with chemicals too. Slept on the futon again last night. I did have a sheet laid out on it and uh, it was getting a little cold. Wrapped the sheet around me. And then when I woke up in the morning, I saw a nice little adult hanging out <laughs> on here. I called the exterminator and they said it's to be expected. The chemicals are still residual and because of that, they'll be acting kind of dopey, <laughs> kind of slow. I have not gone up to the loft yet. I have a little handheld like Dyson vacuum and uh, it's battery powered and it takes a really long time to recharge. So what I'm gonna do today, go to the laundromat and do this giant pile of laundry bags. Doing this one at a time in my washer dryer combo unit is just not gonna work. It's gonna take forever. All right, so I'm starting the, the tally of how much <laughs> this is gonna cost. So I got some heavy duty garbage bags um, because I already used all of the ones that I had for all of my laundry and I can't reuse those bags. I got some laundry detergent and some dryer sheets. I usually also never buy dryer sheets, but extenuating circumstances. Apparently they also help to kill bed bugs, so I'm using them. had like big oversized machines so I was able to do all of my clothes in only four loads. One dollar was eaten by the machine. The Each of those four loads were seven dollars and fifty cents each for the wash so I only have ten minutes left until the washing cycle is done. I just stopped to get some food and then I'm gonna go park somewhere to eat outside at a park or something. Welcome to the farm. Um, I just finished my lunch. So I think it was like about $5 for the two machines that are like really, really large industrial dryers. So I was able to do everything with just two machines. And then I just put them both for an hour. So I really hope at the highest temperature for an hour that all my clothes don't shrink and get totally destroyed. So now is the part that I have been dreading the most, which is vacuuming up in the loft. I haven't even looked at it yet. So I've decided my method, I'm just going to take my glasses off because then I'll be able to see well enough to just see that there's like brown specks, but I won't actually be able to see the bed bugs, I guess. I don't know. I'll, that's the, it's the best thing that I can figure out how to do without freaking out, throwing up and falling off the ladder. I'm a bad <laughs> Let's go. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. They're all dead. I can definitely say that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I mean by the excrement marks. It's not gross, I promise, okay? I promise, it's not bad. You see these like, they look like scuff marks almost. Um, I did order a new mattress and a mattress cover. So I was trying to get some work done today and I keep finding these little guys on me. They're like really, really, really tiny, bright red, crawling on my arms, crawling on my legs. So I called the exterminator again. They cannot come until next. Friday. Next Friday. It's Friday today. So that is seven days from now. Oh, I'm just like, I'm so distracted. I just keep looking around everywhere trying to find them. Here's some tiny house realness, okay? My whole life is happening in the view of the camera right now. I work here. I sleep here. I'm trying to have leisurely time here. And it's really hard to create mental separation between relaxation, leisure time, work and sleep when you, 
all of those things are happening in this little confined space. And when you don't even feel safe or comfortable in that little confined space, It's 9.30. I'm sorry. Everything I'm seeing looks like a bug. Uh, I'm losing my mind. Can you tell? New futon. It's awful. It's ugly. It's what I could find at Walmart. Didn't get enough work done. So I'm gonna have to work like double time tomorrow. My blood sugar kept plummeting over and over again. It's been a really bad day. So yesterday the exterminator came and I thought he was gonna do a treatment. But apparently that was not his intention. He was just planning to come here, assess the situation, and come up with a plan. We are going to rip out all of the planks in the loft. I've been told that bed bugs don't like movement and that, you know, they feed on you at night. Not because they don't like the sunlight, but because they don't like movement. And let me tell you, that's bull****. One of them was feeding on my hand while I was writing in my notebook. So it seems like they're just kind of opportunistic and if they come across you, they're gonna feed and they don't really care what you're doing. I'm halfway through the 30 day guarantee. As you can tell, I'm in a different location. I hope the audio is not too echoey in here. I've been staying at my parents' place since last Friday. Today is Wednesday. The bed bugs were driving me so crazy. I couldn't take it anymore. I basically had a breakdown and told my parents I, I need to just pack my up and stay somewhere else. When I brought my belongings here, the minute I came into this house, I took all my clothes off, put them in a garbage bag, ran into the house, took a shower, put all of my clothes in the laundry machine, and I still brought one in actually on my notebook when I was sitting at my desk. Thankfully, I thought when I sat at my desk to lay down a tablecloth, I noticed the little baby, like a nymph, crawling on the tablecloth. So I picked up the tablecloth, put it in the washing machine on the highest heat. That was the only one that I saw since. But today was the day that the exterminator was going to rip out all the floorboards of the loft. And it turns out that my builder did not just screw the floorboards in, but they're also glued down. So in order to remove them, you basically have to break them, rip them up. Basically the exterminator said, I can't rip out the floorboard, so I can't do anything today. He didn't even do a treatment. He didn't even spray or do anything. He just left. They told me I need to hire a contractor to rip out the loft. And my partner offered to do it. I feel so guilty that this man who doesn't even live in the house, okay? It's not his house. That he's going to go to my house and do that job. And then we have to rebuild it. <laughs> I'm going to be staying at my parents' place for God knows how long. Whenever the exterminator comes, I'm going to have to be there to let them in. And they say that it takes up to three months for the treatment to be fully effective. This is so much worse than I thought it was going to be. I thought this video honestly was going to be like a 15 minute long video. It's so ironic that I'm going to be going to the tiny house show this weekend. It's in a few days and I'm going to be there advocating for a tiny house lifestyle Meanwhile, I'm basically, the bugs have evicted me from living in my house. Oh, I am back in the house today. It feels weird to be back. <laughs> I'm going to water my house plants while I'm here. This one's looking okay. Where are the rest of my house plants? Oh, they're like, oh. <laughs> I knew this one of all of them was probably going to die. Oh, no. Oh, look at it. It's so sad. <laughs> I'm not going to stay here tonight. I'm going to stay at my partner's house and then tomorrow I'm going to go to Toronto and then I'm going to go back to Ancaster. So I'm still not staying in this house, but I just wanted to kind of check in on everything, see how everything's doing. I mean, the loft has been taken out. So I'm just looking around for bugs as I'm walking. So don't mind me. Gotten this over with. I mean, I didn't do anything. My partner is amazing and he did this. It feels really spacious in here now with that like just open obviously the supporting beams and like where they meet the wall that's probably where all the bugs are hiding right now the rug is on the futon this futon is basically intended to be disposable same with that pillow i am back at the house again today i was staying with my aunt and uncle since last week so i'm expecting the exterminator any minute i really hope <laughs> 
This is the final treatment. Yeah, I'm always feeling like something's crawling on me. Uh, I do have another exterminator coming tomorrow. Wanted to get a second opinion. Guys, I still have bed bugs. Like, these things are impossible to kill. So what he told me to do is to seal every little gap in the walls, in between the walls and the ceiling. So he told me to wait two weeks. Two weeks. After yesterday's date. Until they will come. And use a different treatment. Uh, I just paid him 75 bucks, but I might have to pay more. Well, I, obviously I'm gonna, he's gonna send me a quote. I just bought a new futon mattress and the cover from Ikea. I just feel like this is never gonna end. on the onset because a lot of you guys are going to be like why did your builder not do this for you when the house was delivered and that's because I asked to do all the priming and the painting myself I wanted to save a little bit of money and do that finishing work on my own now a painter would typically when they're doing the paint job also do any ceiling so let me show you exactly what that means. When I got the house delivered back in September of last year, we did, and by we, I mean me and my dad and my partner, they definitely helped out significantly, did the ceiling, the silicone caulking all around the windows and around the doors here. This is actually a clear silicone, um, whereas this is a different material. I think this is acrylic that can be painted over. And then you'll see in the gaps of the ship lap, we kind of just put a little bit extra. I'm sorry, my camera really sucks at focusing. We did around the windows. What we did not do was around all of the beams on the loft. We did not do the corners of all of the walls, as you see here. Again, corners of all of the beams. And also around all of the floors where the walls meet the floor. You'll notice I don't have any um, baseboards <laughs> here. I don't have any sort of, I think I'm just gonna put like a half inch kind of round corner just to seal this off and make it look a little bit nicer. I got these end pieces. I'll show you where this is going to go. So with the new plywood on the loft, you see it just doesn't look very finished and nice right now. So I wanna put this edge piece on the end. Uh, the edges where the walls meet, the cabinets, the edging around the tile work. We did it all around the ceiling on both sides, all sides, all four sides. Uh, I did this corner here too. And then I also did this side around the door. And then what I also did was behind the fridge. So this corner of the wall all the way down to the floor. On this edge of the floor, there's actually a really big gap. So when I tried to fill it with caulking, it just kept kind of falling <laughs> down to the floor. So we're gonna come up with a different solution for that. It might not look perfect, but the important part is that no bugs can get in there. In the process of doing all of that yesterday, I saw seven bugs. I'm still waiting to get a quote from the new company. Okay, so I'm gonna try to recrap, recrap, basically. <sighs> recap everything that happened today. It was a really, really day, okay guys? I found three bed bugs inside 
was waiting for a quote from Orkin still after I tried contacting them over and over and over and over and over again. They are definitely lacking in the customer service department. But because I was waiting so long to get a quote from them, I also contacted a different company. They're based in Toronto. They had really good reviews. So I'm getting a consult with them on Sunday. So I went for a drive. And guess what? I found a bed bug in my car. So I basically panicked, I came home, I threw out pretty much everything I own. I had wicker baskets here and I'm like, maybe they're hiding in the wicker baskets. So I threw them all out. I was just so frustrated. I threw out my futon because I thought maybe they're sleeping on that. So now I'm gonna be sleeping on this air mattress. I can't believe this is still going on. I can't believe I'm still doing this vlog. Like I'm so over this vlog, I just want it to end. I finally got some good news today. I just got a call back from Pest End. I'm hoping that this video will end and I'll be like, Pest End is great guys. Highly recommend. Time shall tell. So I did get a consultation, a quote from Orkin. They were very vague by email. They just told me we're going to use a much more effective treatment. And I was like, what is that treatment? <laughs> Can you tell me what that is? Like, can you send me a PDF that like explains what the treatment is that you're going to do? Are you going to give me a checklist of how to prepare my house before you do your treatment? They were just very unprofessional, which is very confusing because they're Orkin. They're like the most well-known pest control company. So I ended up getting a third consultation, which was the same day that my dad and I put in the new vinyl flooring on top of the loft. They are going to do a real heat treatment. So when I mentioned that the last company basically just put my stuff in garbage bags and used a steamer, they literally laughed out loud and said that is just for show. That's not going to accomplish anything because it's not hot enough and it doesn't maintain that temperature for long enough. So real heat treatment requires a whole machine that maintains a steady temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 90 minutes. And then they follow up with Apprehend. And it's the same treatment that a few people have reached out to me on Instagram and told me is very effective. It's relatively new and it's basically a fungus that attaches to the bed bugs and then like grows on them and kills them. They're gonna spray my car with the Apprehend as well. And then <laughs> seven to 10 days later, they come back and do it. A, a second treatment and it comes with a three month warranty and I will also say that when the guy came to do his inspection he was the most thorough of everyone that I've seen took all the drawers out of my cabinets inspected those climbed up into the loft looked through all my windowsills he went into the utility closet in my bathroom he stayed there for at least an hour explained to me everything that was going to happen with the heat treatment, he explained to me that, you know, some things might get damaged in the heat, but they're going to send me a full checklist of things that I'll need to do to prepare. So I was able to schedule that appointment for this coming Monday, um, which, by the way, is a holiday. It's the Labor Day weekend. So, uh, however, today's only Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm still going to be staying. Right now I'm parked in uh, my partner's driveway. I'm still staying at his place. So I'm going to be staying here until... Monday morning and then I should be able to move back into the house basically the next day but right now I have to go to the park I have to pay the lease for my house and then when I come back to this house I'm gonna have to take all my clothes off and put them in a garbage bag <laughs> and do a shower you know my typical routine anytime I come from the car into somebody else's house I do that every single time all of my shoes by the way I've been keeping all of my shoes outside and they've been here for so long they're probably all destroyed by now. The shoes I'm wearing right now are soaking wet because I've been keeping them outside. And then that's my ladder up to the loft, which I'm probably gonna set on fire. treatment 
seven days ago tomorrow. And I had not seen a single bug. So I thought the problem had finally been solved. I even actually already left a review for a pest end on Google Maps. I finally started imagining getting my life back. I started bringing stuff inside, like my shoes and my purses. And I was just hanging out here on my desk. And I found one on my desk. And it was very much alive, like it was moving quickly. And Zach, the exterminator, told me that if, you know, God forbid any of them survived and I did see one, it should be moving very slowly because of the apprehend, the spray stuff that he used, they should be like basically dying and moving very slowly. Honestly, I had such a good day and I was feeling so grateful and like happy that things were finally going to go back to normal. And it only takes one bug to just immediately put me back in the mental state that I was in. And you might think, like, it's only one bug, but just because I saw one doesn't mean it's the only one. The exterminator is supposed to come on Thursday and do a second spray of the Apprehend. I know I'm not, like, back at square one, but that's what it feels like right now, in this moment. And I'm really sick of looking out of garbage bags. I think it is finally time to wrap up this video. <laughs> and I hate to say that out loud because I feel like, I literally feel like the minute I say that out loud, I'm gonna see a bed bug crawling on my desk. <laughs> like, First of all, I think, and I will put the total somewhere on the screen here, there are a few things that I did not mention, like my boots and other shoes that I kept outside for too long. And basically with the rain or the sun they got totally destroyed and i had to throw those shoes out and i'm gonna have to buy new shoes i had to buy a new vacuum little things like that that i didn't even put in the tally but i spent a lot of money solving this problem and having to replace items in my house that i threw out if i had gotten the heat treatment the very first time if i went with pest end the very first time I probably would not have had to replace the loft, replace my futon, replace my mattress. It would have saved me so much time and in the long run actually would have saved me money. But mostly time. I'm never going to get that time back to feel like I was like contagious almost. I was like a danger to other people. So I really wish that I had just gotten the heat treatment the very first time. And then another thing that he did that I will show you guys is he put these... Um, interceptors around the foots of my bed. The idea here is that if they were to like climb up into here, um, it has this texture so that they can climb up into here, but then they get stuck and they can't climb up into your bed. You can probably make something like this pretty easily with some plastic containers and just like layering them. This will help me monitor. So if I see any bed bugs in here, then I'll know that I still have a problem. So I have this around all four posts on the futon. I'm still sleeping on this futon. That mattress that you're seeing is from Ikea and it's actually pretty comfortable. So I've been sleeping a lot better than I was before on the cheap futon that I bought from Walmart. And obviously I'm just sleeping better with the peace of mind knowing that I'm pretty sure that all, all the bugs are gone. But I still want to give it another at least seven days to make sure that everything is good. And then I will finally start being able to get to my very long list of things that I need uh, to put my mattress back up there. I need to build a new ladder. I'm really excited to like settle back into my house again. I'm going to be working on two more videos for the channel today because I know it's been a long time since I put a video out there. I just want to tell you that if you are going through bed bugs right now, if you're watching this video because you're going through this experience on your own, my heart goes out to you, man. It's so f hard. Like, I know how traumatic the experience is. If people are downplaying that in your life, like, I understand what you're going through. <laughs> and please, like, leave a comment down below and let me know because I've been through this for such a long stretch of time. Yeah, that's all for now, folks. <laughs> Take it easy.